Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October sex and love messages. So this is going to be a disclaimer. There's going to be a lot of cussing, a lot of dirty talk. So if this stuff offends you, you can skip and find another video. <laughs> or just stay away from kids, okay? All right, so let's get it popping. What's going on with my Libras and love and sex? We're gonna start with love. Okay, so we have be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Let's say you meet somebody new. Are you being your true authentic self or are you just putting on a persona where you are, um, you know, putting on a big charade and you're just pretending you're someone you're not just to fit in or just for the sake of, you know, wanting them to like you or whatever. So you got to ask yourself that. Are you really being you or are you uh, not being you? Okay, so let's see. Always be who you are. They will love you for who you are. Okay, so um, allow yourself to, to speak what you want and the way that you see things because or you don't want to just agree to, you know, someone's bullshit or someone's interest in something just for the sake of you of having a mutual you know chemistry or whatever always be you in other words and then we have choose love you always have a choice as to what you should do and see that you have a choice you have a decision okay whether this is you getting into a relationship and you're asking yourself should i or should i not uh should i leave a relationship you don't need nobody's permission to do so you are your own boss okay you have a choice telling you to choose love and also choose yourself appreciate this moment each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love oh yeah live in the now okay go with the flow don't worry about tomorrow you never know what circumstances you find yourself in whether it's good or bad you could be finding the one in that circumstance you just never know embrace it appreciate the now what's happening you know whether you're single and you're by yourself enjoy it appreciate it or if you are together with someone and you're happy embrace that too okay so let's get some from the fortune telling cards all right we have thorns weathering the challenges ahead it will bring in new and positive future appreciate the moment so Let's say you're going through some hard times in your relationship or just, you know, having a midlife crisis where you just find yourself single and you're afraid that you're never going to find love or something and time is passing by and you go through certain people and you're just like, I can't find the one or whatever. Just know, be in the now, enjoy it, you know, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Things happen for a reason. It's to help you grow, to help you appreciate the better when it comes along. And just go with the flow. You know, there's a bright future ahead of you because we do see the sun here shining through the thorns. Okay, just go with it. Go with the flow. We have Owl. There are spiritual message. Okay, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Some of you are going through a, a, a spiritual awakening, a transition, and especially in love, okay? It says choose love. So let's say you've been really closed off lately to love, okay? You're just like, I don't want love. It's not for me. Fuck everybody. Uh, you know, you've been jaded a few times or whatever, and that's the thing that you're going through or whatever, and it's just like you find love in the wrong places. It's telling you that, you find wisdom in everything that you've been through. Everything that you went through, you just, you have that knowledge now. You know what to do. You know what not to do. Okay. And this period of transformation, it could also mean that if you're in a relationship and you guys are going through some hard times, it's just ride the wave. Okay. This will determine whether or not you're strong enough to stay together, if it's worth it, or if it's time for you guys to move on. Okay. That's, it's up to you. So if you're single and you are having a hard time finding love because you're finding the right ones or you get fucked over or whatever, 
that's because those are not for you. They're not for you. It doesn't mean time is not on your side and you don't deserve it. It just means that those are not the right people. They're karmic partners. Karmic partners come and they go. They teach you life lessons. So that when the real one comes in, you'd be so much more happier. You'd be more uh, wiser and you'd be able to do the right moves. Okay, so then we have Phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. This is all talking about renewal, crisis, you know, going through it and stuff like that. Be true to who you are. This is like whatever that has been dead or stagnant, you're coming back from the dead. Okay, like it says, with the owl and the phoenix, you are coming back to life. So let's say you have not been in a relationship in a while. You're going to get your mojo back. You are literally going to have the sense of renewal after some really hard shit that you went through. Whether this is a divorce, a breakup, a split, anything, you are rising back from that. Feeling very, very low, okay? This is, could be healing, mending a broken heart, whatever. You're rising from the ashes. You're a fucking phoenix. Nobody could defeat you. And just go with it. Soar like the owl, okay? You will, there's, the sun is coming out. So there's a bright period. There's a bright thing ahead of you, okay? It says, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. You are being renewed right now. Getting all the yucky old gunk out of the way. So if you find yourself feeling depressed or feeling like you are having a midlife crisis, like I said, it's only because the old is fading and it has to come out of your system, away from you. Just like when you take a shit, you know, when you know your stomach hurts and you got to go, you take a shit, you let it go and you no longer feel that way. Same thing when you, you know, broken heart and stuff like that. I'm sorry it was that nasty as a, you know, but you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Think of it as taking a shit. You're going to let it go. Put it down the drain. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So some of you are struggling with addictions or you could have been drinking way too much because you're going through some hard times. Drinking too much, smoking a little bit too much, and it's affecting your health. This could also mean that you are codependent on another partner. You find yourself not happy if they're not happy or you feel like if this person is not in your life, sorry, this fell. You feel like if this person is not in your life, you're not going to be ever happy again. You're never going to find love, blah, blah, blah. That's a codependency. You got to let that shit go, okay? And you will be releasing that attitude because of the Phoenix card here. Okay, old ways are dying out. So be prepared to be renewed in a, a different way of thinking, feeling, and uh, feeling love. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Have fun. Let loose a little bit. Don't be so stuck up in love. Don't be so hard to get. Don't be so ego-minded or... Um, yeah, don't be so ego-minded. Fuck, you know, let loose. Play a little. Have some fun. Just because you want to go to the playground and play a little bit or have a little picnic and, and act like little kids doesn't mean you're immature. It just means that you're having fun. You're letting your soul live. Okay? The childhood is the kingdom when nobody dies. Wow. Release your ex. Some of you have released your ex. Others of you are needing to release them because you're codependent on them and you feel like, ugh, I'm not going to have a life without them. That's a codependency. You are... You can be happy on your own, okay? So some of you, the time has come to clear your energy, and that is the clearing of the energy, the letting go, okay? Especially with the phoenix. All right, let's get some sexual cards here for Libra. Oh, one flipped over. Okay, sexual for Libra. October. Hmm. We have the moon. Ooh, deep down in your subconscious mind, you know what you want, okay? You can't deny it. Be, be honest with yourself. So if you're with someone that you're not happy with or you felt like you have to be with them because you have kids or because, you know, there's certain things going on in your life, you got to be honest with your, yourself. That's why that tr be true to yourself card came out, okay? So if you're sneaking around, messing around with other people while you're with someone, you got to be honest. Release your ex. The time has come to release your ex. You know what you want. You know who you want. What happens in the dark comes to light. So you could be, you know, having an awakening or an epiphany. 
telling you how you really are. Am I happy? Am I being true to myself and my heart? That's all going to be coming to the surface. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. This is someone, you know, not have, not being afraid to have fun. Being open to your sexuality. Okay? And you see how she's wearing a mask? Some of you are not being true to yourself. Do you, you know you're a freak, okay? A freak in the sheets. You're pretending you're like you're a little good girl. And you're screaming to unleash the fucking beast. So this is you going to be doing that just because it's, it's underneath the playfulness card or on top of the playfulness card. Play a little. Uh, fucking spice it up. Wear some costumes. Uh, get butt naked. Just drop what you're doing and get naked and have sex. <laughs> this could be you living your best life sexually too. Playing around. Being promiscuous. Doing your thing. Like being you. <laughs> Finding that balance. Then we have the, the Ten of Wands, okay? The Ten of Wands in this card is talking about someone who is sleeping around just for the fuck of it, but not for happiness, just for pleasure. Could also mean that if you're in a relationship or with someone that you're having sex with, it becomes a hassle. It becomes a job, and it's really weighing down on you. It's becoming a burden for some of my Libras, and you're just like, oh, I have to have sex with you again. Like, it's just... No, you got to release that. <laughs> Fuck, a lot of my Libras are going through it right now and they're either their single life, their relationship, or their marriage. It's like, if you're happy, okay, but that's cool. But if you're not, try to spice it up. And if you can't handle it, let it go. Release your ex, just like it says. All right, we have the, what is this? The Knave of Swords reversed. The Knave of Swords reversed signifies a person who is not being true to themselves. This is, could be you lying to yourself or lying to your partner about where you're going. Someone is lying about what they're doing and where they're going because they're sneaking around. See that? How she's like pushing them out the window. Someone is sneaking around, getting it on because they're not happy with who they're with. But yet you're still sticking around. That makes no sense. Release them if you don't want to be with them. If you're not sexually getting pleased or pleasured, come on. No need to sneak around. Just let them go. You'll do yourself a favor and that person that you're fucking with a favor. And it's just everybody lives happily ever after. <laughs> All right. We have the world card. Something has come to a completion and end. Okay. That is why we have the Phoenix card rising from the ashes. Renewal. Something is done. I feel like the period of you not getting it on or finding love or having sex with who you want or what you want when you want it's coming to an end. Now it's time for you to get freaky, embrace your sexuality. October is a month to, to cuddle up, you know, colder weather. You stay inside, light the candles, have some wine, just walk around fucking naked. Just do the damn thing. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Then we have, um, literally, fuck it. Then we have temp temperance. Temperance came out reverse. So some of you need that sexual release. You need that sexual healing. Okay, some of you are not getting that sexual healing. So I feel like some of you have been self-pleasuring to get that because you've been going fucking nuts. So a lot of you are not getting pleased the way you want to. So you're looking for it somewhere else or you're doing it yourself. Yeah, two of cups reversed. Not getting what you want out of sex. Okay. This is not feeling sexually satisfied. Told you. Someone is not getting what they want sexually. So they're getting it somewhere else. It's becoming a burden, a hassle. You're like, oh, they get what they want and they leave me hanging. I'm tired of this shit. All they care about is their self, their self-pleasure. No, you want someone who's equally, who wants to give and, and take. You know, give and receive. Six of fire. Ooh, you guys are going to be, some of you guys are going to be successful. Going out there, dating again, getting what you want. That's going to be a success. This is like stepping up to your game, okay? Once you've released who you need to release, or this could be at my singles, going out there, being successful at finding love or getting, you know, what you want sexually out of whoever it is that you want to get it out of. <laughs> yeah. 
this is you feeling good, attracting love in public as well. People look at you as sexually attractive. And it's, it could be easy for you to get what you want because my Libras are spoiled brats of the Zodiac. All right, you guys have, ooh, three of water. Someone's going to be swimming in their sweat. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is like reuniting with someone, mm -hmm, taking them home for a good, for a good fuck. Uh, fucking swimming in your, in your sweat, in your love. Someone knows how to get you wet. And you are just diving in the pool of love. Yep. This could also represent three of the water. It could represent you going out there dating and being successful at getting who you want and what you want. Hence, spoiled brats of the Zodiac. <laughs> then we have the Emperor reversed. Ooh, some of you guys are leaving a marriage because they are, uh, there's a lot of infidelity going on. There's a player in the midst, so you could be freeing yourself from that. And because some of you are probably, it could be an Aries too, some of you are open in your relationship, you don't mind being together, but you guys all both do your own separate things and then you come together when it's, you, when need be. But just be careful because you don't want to be, you know, spreading, spreading yourself like that because you never know what you could catch, okay? We have the Ten of Earth reverse, which is the Ten of Pentacles reverse in this deck. It means that someone's feeling lonely, okay? Someone is feeling lonely. They're not getting what they want in a relationship. And it's kind of like you're, you're wishing for your freedom. Someone's wishing for their freedom. Maybe you've been together with someone for a long time and you want to explore. You want to get out there and, you know, go shopping at the candy shop. <laughs> Kind of lollipop you want to suck on this time, no? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We have the Queen of Air reversed. Notice how in the upright, okay, someone's turning her on. She's playing with herself. Oops, the kids walk in. Uh, yeah, they didn't go to bed. Someone ended up walking in on someone, okay? So someone is afraid to bring someone home. So you could be like very, very overprotective. With the Queen of Fire reverse, this could mean that someone has not been true to their sexuality. You are a fucking porn star within, but you're not expressing that or you're not getting that in return. You're not being able to share that with someone. You haven't found someone who unleashes that beast in you. So you find yourself having to self-pleasure. And with the queen being the queen of fire being reversed, okay, underneath the emperor. Ooh, funny how I said it down there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, someone is definitely there's infidelity. Okay, there could be um, you could be getting turned on by certain things, and okay, baby, I'll go right there. <laughs> My niece. Uh, you see what I mean? The kids, they, the kids walk in. Okay, they're little cock blockers. So be careful. They could be causing, you know, you guys to look for it other places because if you're married or in a relationship and you have kids, the kids are always, you know, walking in or whatever, and it stops you from getting it on, and that can get frustrating. They find themselves looking for it somewhere else. You find yourself, you know, looking for it somewhere else too. So always remember to, you know, take them to your mama's house or. Do something, work something out where you guys have time to have sex or else there will be infidelity and that causes a lot of problems. We have the strength reversed, okay? With the strength reversed. and the upright, the girl is like holding on to the penis, huge penis. He knows how to go strong. He knows how to go for long hours of time, whether you're male or female. And reverse, this is someone having a malfunction. Someone is not, you know, strong enough sexually to keep going they could be like okay i i got mine and i'm done and they leave you dry and dirty on the on the bed or whatever and you're getting tired of that like i said there's you, there's no equal give and take so you find yourself having to finish yourself off or whatever this is someone who's yeah not strong enough to keep going and it pisses you off you're like fuck man when is this shit gonna end <laughs> So you want something more stronger, more bigger. I don't blame you. Okay, so let's see here. We have the priest reversed. The priest reversed. So this is definitely 
someone who's in a relationship, okay, who could be divorcing and finally putting themselves out there to date and you're happy about it. This could mean that there's infidelity, like I said, and that's proof in a marriage or in a commitment that someone is sleeping around because of the malfunction. They're not giving them that sexual pleasure or affection that they need, the sexual healing or release, because we have the temperance reverse and in the sexual deck that's needing to be sexually released. <laughs> sexual healing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So give me a few more cards. Okay. Wow. Eight of water, which is the eight of cu cups. This is like someone getting caught. Okay. Someone got caught stopping you in your tracks. Oh, I caught you red handed. Eight of water. Now it's time to walk away. Or you are turning your back on someone and trying to sneak out of the relationship and they try to throw some arrows at you like where are you going and they try to keep you trapped and you're just not happy so always remember to like it says oh that's the main thing be true to yourself your sexuality you deserve love you deserve that sexual healing you deserve that that touch okay life is too short live it to the fullest and yeah let me pull some of the lover's oracle really quick before we wrap it up Okay, we have we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing so your soulmate your twin flame is out there okay they are out there whether you're not together you know that there's something more better and destined destined for you you're just going through a cycle you're going through a phase and it's all about releasing that person that you that does not make you happy when you do that that person steps in they could also come in when you're with someone and that could be your choice your decision to make to release them Wow, transformation came out. Speaking about the Phoenix card that we pulled earlier, it says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Conquers and transforms all things. So even if you are with someone, okay, and you guys been through hell and back, there was infidelity, the sex wasn't good, the love was missing, all that shit, it's now going to transform and it's going to be healed. Okay, some of you are being healed and you can heal it. So after a period of being separated, maybe it's time for you guys to get back together or it's time for you guys to be healed. That's going to be better. The sex will be better. You know, you, you went through your trials and tribulations. So take it as it resonates. It says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So qualities you do not like are also your own reflection. If you judge them in a certain way, they're judging you in that same way too. So be careful. Ooh, we have romance. Cupid arrow strikes. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Cupid's arrow strikes. So be prepared. I feel like the month of October is going to be full of hot sex. Like you're tired of not getting it. You, you need that sexual healing and that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to go find it. You're going to be successful at getting it. Whether that's you pleasuring yourself or doing whatever you can to get it, but you go and get it. <laughs> Why? Because Cupid's arrow strikes. This could also mean. Let me let me just reference this. Cupid's arrow, which is the penis, strikes. You will be striking Cupid's arrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to I had to throw that out there because I just saw it and my mind is like crazy, so. And then we have power. The last card we have here is power. You instinctively know what is right for you and have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You hold the power, dearie. Okay, just like the girl from the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy. You had the power the whole time. You have the power to transform, to heal it. You have the power to walk away to Eight of Cups. You have the power to get whatever the fuck you want. Okay? So with that being said, uh, Libras, this was your love and sex message for October. Please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in your next video. Bye, guys.